Well, hi again, everyone. I'm CBS 19 Chief Meteorologist Brett Anthony on a beautiful Wednesday. Light winds today, lots of sunshine. Temperatures made it into the lower 60s as we expected. All right, here's what's new, what's now, and what's next. What's new is the latest pollen count that came out today. And I got to tell you, if you're an allergy sufferer, you're loving these numbers. Tree pollen, nothing showing up in the count bin. Mold spores were on the low side today. That is certainly good news. What's now is we are tracking warmer weather for the second half of the week. It was a little warmer today. Day. Overnight tonight, temperatures will drop back into the upper 30s to low 40s, and then tomorrow afternoon we should see highs in the low to mid 70s. There's a real possibility to make it up as warm as 75 degrees. I'm kind of looking at that. I'm assessing that information, and we may bump these numbers up into the mid 70s. Then Friday morning, we're starting off closer to 50. By Friday afternoon, highs just a little cooler with more clouds, but still in the 70s once again. So a great second half of the week and then some changes show up here. We've got weekend showers coming up, but I think the bigger story out of this is going to be the colder air. There's a snowstorm that will be moving through the Missouri River Valley. This low is going to hook up with the surface load that moves through Texas. That's our little chance for showers Saturday morning, but then late Saturday night into early Sunday. Look at this. Now, even though that shows rain, it is colder higher up in the atmosphere. So some of this could either be a snowflake, maybe a sleep pellet, or a little bit of freezing drizzle overnight into early Sunday morning. We'll watch it carefully. If it stays better organized and digs a little farther to the southwest, we could have a winter weather advisory here in East Texas. Right now, doesn't look like it, but we'll keep an eye on that for you as we head through the weekend. All right, the weekend forecast, passing rain showers, 47 by the afternoon. We'll be at 52 in the morning. Right now, I just have a 30% chance for that light rain. A frosty morning Sunday, and that's why I think we could have a couple of snowflakes, especially north of Interstate 20, uh, because the temperatures do fall back to around freezing. Then 48 Sunday afternoon. Looking ahead to Saturday at the Family Trout Fishing at Tyler State Park. This is a great event. It's free. Of course, you pay admission to get into the park, but uh, free fishing, 47 degrees at 10 a.m., cloudy, colder, 11 a.m., blustery at noon, dress warmly, but they got a 1,000 and trout in the lake and they are ready to be caught. And then on Monday, Martin Luther King Jr. Day events, 9 a.m., clear and crisp, noon, sunny, warmer, a nice afternoon with temperatures right around 59 degrees. And we're not looking at a whole lot of rain. If we see anything Saturday, it's generally going to be less than a tenth of an inch. We certainly need more precipitation than what I think we'll see this weekend. All right, tonight, clear sky down to 39, a mid-January chilled kind of night with that low in the upper 30s. We'll see lows closer to 40 at Carthage, upper 30s at Athens, Jacksonville right around, I think, uh, 43 degrees and lower 40s down at Lufkin. Here's the Baylor Scott and White Tech Texas Spine Joint Hospital 7 day forecast. So tomorrow, abundant sunshine, a gentle breeze, and a high of 72. Friday, 71 with southwest winds and partly cloudy skies. Saturday, a few showers could mix north again. That'll be Saturday night overnight into early Sunday as the temperature drops to 32. And we'll call Sunday a bowl of chilly kind of day. Temperatures in the upper 40s for highs. A frosty morning Monday, but we're up close to 60 by Monday afternoon. We're back close to 70 Tuesday and Wednesday.